Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Joe and Jay Outspoken. I'm Jay, this is Joe over here, and um, yeah, if uh, you were here last week, uh, welcome back, and again, if you're new, welcome aboard. Yeah, yeah. Th thanks for joining us again, thanks guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's always fun to be here with you. Uh, make sure you... Um, like, like a subscribe and follow. There um, you go. Or chant. Thing. It takes a while. All right. Yeah. <laughs> English is my second language. You can anyway. follow. <laughs> you can follow all of our social media channels at linktree forward slash Joe and Jay outspoken. Yeah. So uh, today's episode is an interesting one. It's one that's going to anger most of us. Uh, it angers me. I know because um, I'm a parent, and it angers Jay uh, because we just uh, there's a certain way we feel about certain types of people. And that, that goes without saying, and uh, most of society is the same way. So um, we're going to talk about, with, I don't know if most of you have seen it, there's uh, a new document by um, Discovery ID called Quiet on the Set, and it's about Nickelodeon and some pedophiles that they had working there, um, even a writer, uh, Dan Schneider, I believe was his name, that works there. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on in Hollywood and Tinseltown and, uh, and how it's been happening. It's the dark history of Hollywood that continues to happen and no one does. Um, and then the tragedies behind it. Yeah. So I think it's going to be an interesting topic, clearly one that um, I, I, I really hope you're prepared to listen to because, um, you know, this, this is what's happening. And uh, it, it, it's it's creepy. It's sick, and it's uh, and it's really uh, angering, I guess, to me. I don't know. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Jay? Yeah, I think uh, the fact that it was Nickelodeon. You know, we we grew up with those those guys when they first oh, kind of yeah. hit the stage, right? And, yeah, um, a little slime. <clears throat> yeah, the slime thing. It was we thought it was fun, and um, yeah, they've they've uh, got a CD underbelly that nobody's talking about. Yeah, well, they're starting to talk about it, and so are we. Yep. So, so here we go. Get ready. We'll be right back. See ya. Welcome back. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> Hollywood in general, but so let's let's go back a little bit. Um, in in uh, let's not be surprised one about this topic, right? Because it's oh. it's been happening for a long time. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the Corys. Remember the two Corys? Yeah, Corey Feldman, Feldman. and Corey Heim. Um, Corey Feldman had brought this up a long time ago. Yeah, and for some reason it got it disappeared. The mm -hmm. whole he he I think he. He produced uh, a docu series about it, and it just disappeared. Like someone got into the computer and hacked oh, it, or, yeah. and it just it was gone. Right? Um, no one knows what happened to it. And they're but trying was, to post him as a crazy kid and all this right, kind of stuff, right? You know? And he's just living his life, right? Right. So his good friend Corey Heim, right? And he talks about this. Yeah. He was exposed, uh, unfortunately, to a lot of the the. The, the seedy, nasty, pedophile things that happen behind closed doors. Yeah. Clearly, he didn't take it well, and he ended up, you know, taking his own. So, uh, and that's not, that's just one, right? We, there's right. so many. Um, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes was on Nickelodeon, uh, the, the Amanda Bynes show. Remember yeah. that show? Um, again, she, now, are, are they to a point in today's society considered crazy? Yes, because some of the things that they send out, but that's also you have to consider these are their victims that no one listens to. Right. The parents are only concerned about getting money. They don't care if they're getting abused or that's ah, Hollywood, you know? Yeah. And who do they cry <clears throat> to? So she clearly went off the deep end because again, she was a victim. And I don't know if people remember this or even know about this, but she actually created a I think I want to say it was either Instagram or on uh, Twitter, a alternative uh, character. But she put on there that it was her. She showed her ID, everything. The reason for that is because her parents were controlling her other one. Uh, so they would only yeah. put positive stuff, they'd blah, blah, blah. But she was out there saying, hey, this is she. What she said was, I'm going to tell you right now, was, tr was tragic to me. 
and if it's true, and I want to, I want to say it, I believe it more not than not that she had been pregnated at like 14, 15 years old, got an abortion or was yeah. forced to get an abortion. Right. And uh, it all, uh, and it's the same people that now this docu-series is, is, uh, um, bringing up. Right. Um, and so a lot of these shows that had, um, Ariana Grande and all those little, you know, all those young kids, like, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a lot of like exposures of feet. Like you see feet, oh, yeah. the little girls would be sucking their toes. Like right. this guy, Dan Schneider, Schroeder, Schroeder. I can't remember his name. Schneider. Schneider. Yeah. He, he was the writer and he, oh, yeah. there was a lot of complaints about him. So it's not just now that it's coming out. The, we've seen the tragedies behind it. We've seen the people uh, er- eradicate themselves because they, Think about it. You have no one to go to. This is how Hollywood works. Yeah, hey, including you wanna... your own parents. Your own parents are pushing you into this stuff. Those are, they're the ones that are supposed to protect. Bro, if my kids <clears throat> were famous like that and they would tell me, hey, this, I'd be in prison. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you, I'd be in prison. I mean, there's no money in the world yeah. that I would take to sacrifice my own child. Yeah. You Dan know? Schneider would have been in a six-foot hole somewhere. Oh, I, that that's <laughs> I, I wouldn't dig that far. You know what I mean? <laughs> but... The, the, all through history, um, you see the, this tragedy of these kids, you know what I mean, of, of some of the abuse that they've gone through. Some have just not said nothing, right? There's uh, um, the uh, Drake and something. The So um, it was Josh, Josh and Drake. One of those, one of the kids, again, claimed he was abused. And his buddy, the, the, the other half of that show, he's like, nah, he's crazy. But like he would never admit it, never. And he called them out on it. That this docu series brought it out, and now all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, hey, man, I didn't know that happened to you." You know, just like th- there's so much going on out there. Oh yeah, that a lot of kids survived. A lot of them probably never really got touched because they probably had parents that watched over them. But yeah, uh, like Ariana Grande, she was on those shows. She seemed to have survived it. But mm-hmm. did she know something was going on? And just didn't say nothing. Like there's so many questions. I haven't seen right. the I haven't seen this docu series myself. I want to, but. Um, it just it when I saw the preview to it, it made me realize like, oh my god, this has been going on for a while. Why is it just now coming out? Right. You know, no one listened to the court to Corey Feldman about it. He thought oh, that kid's on drugs is crazy. Corey's been around since the Goonies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. He, the the kid was a good little actor, right? That you you if he's gotten a sexually abused, you think that he's not going to have some kind of mental issue going on, right? You know, and and so right, these are people that you know. Even if the parents didn't know and had no involvement or didn't allow or whatever, all these people that were on set that there were their parental figures, right? They were adults. And, and as a child, you're trusting those adults to be making the right decisions for you and everything. And, and when that stuff goes awry, I mean, if you look at the cases of, uh, you know, child trafficking and kids being taken and everything, what happens? Well, those kids know that it's wrong. They do, but they have no choice, no. and and they start to get into this lifestyle that they think that that adult is actually looking out for them because they have their one handler that you know, and it's it's really disgusting that it's allowed. And the, and the thing that drives me nuts in you know our society now and how Hollywood has has become with all this stuff, you know, if you look at all of the things that are being uh, normalized, right, which would be I mean, if you look at the rainbow community, they're really trying to make, you know, pedophilia. No, man, a, I, I would a, a keep, normal... keep pushing that envelope, man. <clears throat> what they want is a tragedy to happen. Yeah. And they're going to call it a hate crime and stuff like that, which it is a hate crime because I, well, I hate pedophiles. Well, pedo- pedophilia is, I believe, is a hate crime in itself, you know, uh, being horrible towards children like that. And then, you know, the, the push to uh, normalize. Um, and you, you said it just a little bit ago about abortion, you know, uh, they're trying to normalize that. I don't honestly, all these things, I don't think it like abortion's a big thing for women's rights or, or healthcare or what have you. I don't think they care about any of that stuff. The stuff they care about is they can say, Ooh, if we get one of these little ones pregnant or whatever, we can just, you know, but look at, look at Britney Spears. She has some emotional or some mental issues going on. Well, Jamie Lynn Spears. What she was pregnant at sixteen years old, mm-hmm. so now they're saying it could be uh, that Dan kid, not the boyfriend, because the, the the kid looks more like Dan with his nose and stuff like that than than the little girl. And she's not little anymore. 
than she does the 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 one that said was the dad. Yeah. Um. But but we don't know. We don't know what kind of abuse is going on. You know, there was another one that was out there. Was uh, Jeanette McCurdy? McCurdy. Mc, yeah. She was in the iCarly. She was. Oh, uh, iCarly. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. She My had, favorite show. Yeah, I remember you watching that all the time. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember this, but she had put out a video. I don't know. Is it Instagram? I don't know where. Um, and she had her hair was all messed up. Makeup was like put on like d- deliberately wrong. It was like she was all messed up. And and she it was like a message. And she mentioned Dan, Dan Schneider. Oh, yeah. And basically, are you She's she basically sicko, said, man. are you happy with you to what you did to me? Like, but all these kids are like, nah, nothing happens. Why? Because Hollywood is controlled by powerful people. Right. Uh, absolutely. Tinseltown is controlled by the, the wealthy. Right. And the, we all know that the wealthy control the United States. They don't. They, it's not the president. It's not Congress, right. because Congress is run by lobbyists, and lobbyists are run by those big companies that have the money. Again, rich people yeah. run this. Run run the United Holly, States. Hollywood's very, very, very powerful. Very, very wealthy and very influential. Yeah. That's that's one of the big key things. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, think about it. You're just a kid in a show that you're being put on there because I say you have talent make you disappear like that i could right. like end your career like yeah you're done you're not gonna work in here anymore and, and imagine telling the parents so now all of a sudden the parents are like gosh we got all this money coming in because of our kid yeah. right and usually what happens is they create like a trust or something like that yeah. so the parents are getting all this money they're they're putting some away for the kid for later on whether it's college or just you know for him to live on later on down down the road and the director or whoever, whoever these sickos are, like this uh, Dan Schneider, uh, comes to the parents and says, hey, listen, you know, if you start spreading this nonsense around, we're just going to get rid of your kid and, and make him, you know, we're going to ruin, ruin him in this town. Yeah, because a lot of these people, again, like you said, the powerful mm-hmm. control a lot and it's – and." And just like, and I don't want to get too far off base, but this is a great example of it, you know, during the time of COVID, right? How many people got the shot because they had to, because they would lose their job. They didn't want to, but because they were told, Hey, listen, you know, this is requirement of your job. And a lot of people did. And I don't, man, I don't hold it against anybody that, uh, you know, kept their job, especially if they had, you know, retirement all that kind of stuff right so you got to look at the same kind of situation right these kids are are saying mom dad like these people are weird they've been touching my butt and stuff you know at on the set and and you know the parents come and, and say dan listen this is what we're hearing and you know they probably don't end up talking to him it's probably some you know person that uh you know like a handler or somebody you know a person right that, has a clipboard and headphones on and is, you know, trying to make schedules and all that kind of stuff. And they come and tell them, Hey, our kids saying this stuff. And they tell the parents, listen, if you keep up with this, your kids just going to be washed out of this whole business. So stop it, you know, um, either deal with it or move on or, or talk to them <clears throat> who talk to them, make sure that they're not spreading this. It's a bad, yeah. bad for it's and, bad for bad. And then, you know, if they're terrible parents and they're like, Little Johnny, you got to stop this stuff. I know you're making things up about, you know, you got somebody, an uh, invisible friend in your room, and you're also making this up about Dan touching your butt, you know? So, I don't know. It's uh, so let me just tell pretty you. Pretty disgusting. I'm going to break this down because I've been doing, trying to research this while you're talking. Um, not that I wasn't listening to you because I always listen to you. You never listen to me. Anymore. I always. <laughs> so, Nickelodeon, right? Because we, we were just talking about how big this company is, right? So, or Tinseltown. So, Nickelodeon is owned by Paramount, Paramount, right? Paramount Global, um, and Paramount uh, Global is owned by National Amusements, right? And so, National Amusements uh, is own is opera is owned. Eighty uh, percent of the company is owned by um, Sumner Redstone, who holds eighty percent of the of the company, and his daughter. Owns the remaining twenty percent. Hmm. National amusement. So remember, we're talking about Nickelodeon, Paramount, National uh, Entertainment, or National Amusements, whatever. Um, they they also own CBS, Comedy Central, BET, Showtime, Nickelodeon, MTV, um, the film studio Paramount Pictures, um, 
and that's basically surprise, surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> that and so as you can see, they own <clears throat> they're they're they own they're they're media moguls. Yeah, right. They own a lot of this, and of course. Ooh, it, we can even break it down more because what does CBS isn't that part of Disney? Yes, it is. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. Uh, so er, er, there, there's there's all kinds of stuff going on. So now think about it. When you have a little Nick, everyone looks at oh, little Nickelodeon. Yeah, that's a parent company. You know, right? The, they're the parent company to a parent company to a parent company, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's a it's this big company that owns. Almost all of Hollywood, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, well, what is it? There's only, I forget what the number is. It's only like six major major companies yeah. that own everything. You yeah, know? And, so. I, and I think Sony came in at one point and started swooping up a lot of them now. But the, the point being that imagine how detrimental that could be to somebody saying, you'll never work in this town. Because that literally they will not ever work right. in this town again. Yeah. Because they own every studio. <clears throat> Right. Or know yeah. someone from another studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're all work together. You know, you, you rub my back, I rub yours. Oh, yeah. These, these pedos always cover for each other as protectors. Well, they, and they keep popping up in Hollywood. Shocker. Why? Because it's they're protected there. Because yeah. that's where they all hang out, right? Yeah. And these little guys in the bottom, they'll take the rap, right? Because they'll, they'll throw a little bone to them. Big guys up on top, they're probably up there at Epstein Island. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oof. And, and, and Yuck. The, 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 here's the sad thing about it, Jay. <clears throat> And this is what really gets to me about our society, about America, is that we're out here, you know, dealing with this dude that wants to be a girl but likes girls because he's lesbian. You know, we're dealing with all these stupidities out here that we forget about our children. You know, the last yeah, the last episode How we talked is it about affecting them. The the last episode we talked about is um, we were talking about you know families and staying together, feminism and whatnot. This is a perfect example. No one's at home watching the kids, right? Right. And um, yep. and this happens, right? Um, one of our schoolmates, her daughter's in Hollywood, and uh, we're not gonna oh, name yeah. any names because I don't want them to get you know. But the, her daughter's in Hollywood. But I know her. We know her. She's yeah. very engaged. She's very. I'm sure there's. And her dad's a, a cop. So I know that they're they're know what's going on. Yeah, they're not those. And you, you know, know what's, you know what's crazy about that because I know exactly who you're talking about. She's in a pretty pretty popular Netflix deal. Yeah, and and they've already had her on stage. And I mean, she's pretty young. They've already had her on stage. She started in, at a very young age in uh, like skimpy clothes and stuff. And dude, it's it's really. When you start thinking about it, man, how dirty Hollywood is, it is. overall. Well, I mean, think about just... it. Do you remember uh remember that that movie? Was it the Little Lolita or something like that? Brooke Shields. She was naked as a child. Oh, yeah. As a child. And yeah. they and they got away with it because it's art. Right. That is child well, abuse, you man. Remember, That's was... child porn, man. They had her in um and she was still pretty young at the time. What was that? The Blue Lagoon? You remember? No, no, that? no. This one with her, she mm. was like eleven or twelve. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. She I was remember. naked. I like, remember that one. Naked. They showed body. Yeah. And I'm like, that that's perversion. I think that's why they picked her for the that <clears throat> Blue, Blue Lagoon Lagoon movie because she had no problem being naked in the you know. As a parent, you should have a problem. I would have you, a big problem. You're, with you're that. talking about an adult is running around with this little girl, the little yeah, Lolita or something no, like that. That, that, that movie, not... and that was disgusting. Um, but we, we, because in the name of art, we're allowed well, to do things like that. But, but, you know, yeah. it's so funny that they're allowed to do that, but people aren't allowed to talk about God. Right. Cause you know, that's offensive. Oh, that's offensive. Oh my you know? gosh. You know? So uh, to me, the, to me though. So again, I'm going back to what I was originally saying. This, the, this is what upsets me about America is that our priorities are so screwed up that we're allowing this to continue to happen in Hollywood. We're not we're not saying a peep, right? Once in a while, someone's going to say something like, "Oh, we got him. He's arrested. He's gone." Uh, yeah, but we have people still doing it out there. Oh yeah, like why? Did, why isn't you know we were quick to put laws out there for child labor. There should be stricter laws for these children who are exposed to these kind of pedophilia, right? People in that working yeah. in Hollywood. I they agree. should be strict. They should. I. They should have like, um, what were those called? Chaperones. They should have oh, yeah. chaperones. They should be protected at all times. These kids are, I mean, you're talking about a lifetime 
of mental issues yeah. because of abuse. And and then uh, pff, talk about that one because you know I know where you're going. Yeah. So there's been some there's been some bad bad people throughout the time. I mean, obviously one of the probably one of the ones that started all the Me Too movement and and all that kind of stuff was um, uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein. Remember? Oh, the Me Too movement. He yeah. started that Me Too. Movement. Yeah. Or not he, his actions. His actions. Yeah, yeah not him. Kind of kind of got the ball rolling there. Yeah. Oh. Um and he was a uh he was a turd. And and the thing is He just is that, looked weird, bro. Yeah. Well, but if you go back and the amount of times that people especially the bigger actors in Hollywood, right, would get up on stage and say so many positive things about how great he was and how good he was for their career and everything. Um, another guy was Roman Polanski. That guy was a uh, yeah. And, and, he married that. Yeah, isn't he like still a fugitive? Yeah, he left. Uh, he left the United States, and you know, been he won't come back. I don't think he can come back. I I, I don't know. No, what because he'll get arrested because yeah. he's 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 in a uh, in a in a country that has uh, no extradition. Yeah, I don't know if it's but, uh well because I know like Greece has this whole thing with you know you know what if you upsets were, me if you were touching kids they you know, don't but care. you know what upsets me that guy still makes movies and yeah, people still absolutely. act in them I'm like really bro like that you're okay with that like you're you're saying oh yeah. that's fine yo she's yeah. older now she wasn't when he did that right another one was Woody Allen remember Woody Allen uh, Woody his adoptive Allen a, yep. another perv you know and, another, and and yep. but nothing happens to them. Nothing. We and and here's the thing, man. We're they're normalizing this sh- shit. And that was my biggest key to this, you know. And and I don't, I don't want people to get all butt hurt about, you know, these these things that there's movements that are trying to make things legalized and all this kind of stuff. And and certain things, whatever. I don't agree with them, but um, you know, there's multiple reasons. But the real big core reason behind a lot of this stuff is nefariousness, you know. It's it's stuff to uh, do dirty crap with kids and that's, that's wrong. and really you know this is going out to LAPD LASO LA DA go out there and do a task force man go out there clean out this Hollywood you know I you, they have to I mean they yeah. have to do a task force clean them out arrest them all corrupt them bankrupt them I don't care what you do with them you know but, just get rid of them I I just think right now Hollywood's too big for its own bridges you know what yeah. I mean they need to be they need to be shut down I think they need to be I'm like let's be honest man they haven't been creative in years they've ruined all my Star Wars movies um oh, the, yeah. yeah you know they they Hollywood is a joke dude um, did and it's oh, just man, a, it's Disney just a, fell off the rails like I don't really even understand they they went so like they're so concerned about i mean we've talked about this before so you have like the little mermaid that was a little bit of a scandal they had a girl that was not a little white ginger redheaded girl you know playing the part and she was talking mess about the whole thing well big time i mean that movie didn't do that great you know no, they've been bombing, bombing but the thing bombing. is like we said before i've said this um so, okay, so you want to do movies for, you know, people of color or whatever, you know. D- movies trans- are not. So here's the thing, Jay. And I know we're getting off subject, guys. Just bear with us. We'll, be, we'll jump back on. Um, the movies should not be made for any race. Movies should be no. made as an entertainment value. That's it. Yeah. If the stories, and- if the story is about a historical thing, whether it's a book that was written or a novel or historical facts, they should stick to those historical. That's facts. right. Well, they shouldn't have to change. You know, hey, let's change Quasimodo here to something. You know, to uh, a black guy or to right. a, to a paisa. You know what I mean? Let's let's <laughs> let's just change him to something else. No, no, we're not because was, that was done in. That was supposed to be in France. Right, so right, France. he yep. needs to be French. You know what he I mean? He needs to be French. He, and, Absolutely. And, right. The Little Mermaid was a a a very fair skinned, redheaded. Yeah. She lives in the ocean, man. They so, don't get sun in there. You yeah, know. Right. Right. And and the thing is, is I've said this, man, and it bugs me. Is if they really cared about, let's say, black actresses, they would write a movie. That was for a black. That was based around. You know, they made things like the Black Panther and stuff like that. Great and, movies. Yeah, and and uh, like, I I, always, I love this one because instantly people get it. 
think about the movie Mulan, whether you're looking at the cartoon or the live action. Mm -hmm. I thought the live action was amazing. They did a great job on it. Now, imagine they say, well, let's redo Mulan and let's make it a transgender female, right? So a guy pretending to be a woman, which is... (laughs) You know, the whole part, the whole part of the movie is she's pretending to be a guy, you know, to be a warrior out there. Yeah. And so and and let's make them, you know, I don't know, Native American or or a paisa or (laughs) or black or something like that. It's like that is not that's not Mulan. That's not the story. It'd be Melon. I almost lost my (laughs) I almost lost my ears there. (laughs) That was funny. Um. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, I don't agree with doing this, but if you want to do a, a cartoon or a live action or based around some transgender person or whatever, then then draw the movie out just for that. I don't, but, it, I, but I don't agree there either. I don't, because I don't that's agree. A, that's, no. that, that is all sexual stuff. That sex stuff shouldn't even be in right. cartoons. Hundred, be in a, it's like putting, it's like make, remaking Rapunzel with a short-haired girl. <laughs> it wouldn't work. No, because Rapunzel has the long hair. And, and get up they're going to rename her to Karen. Oh, so. God, Karen Rapunzel. Right. <laughs> but anyway, we're going jumping back to what we were talking about in Hollywood. Karunzel. <laughs> I think I think uh, Hollywood, I skip Hollywood, going back now to laws and to Washington, D.C., um, I think that there should be laws that protect um, child actors that are very strict. Very strict. They have to follow rules. They can't film after so many hours. They could only film for X amount of hours. There right. always has to be a um, a escort or a caregiver, or someone present on the set. Yeah. Um, they can't be alone with any producers or any writers or any adults. That, that you know, they they have to make these rules to protect the children because at the end of the day, it's about the children. It's not about the movie. It's not about the show. It's not about Hollywood or how much money they can make. It's about those kids because at the end of the day, those kids will have to eventually grow up. And and we want adults that could function properly, not a bunch of ki- people that and as adults have all kinds of mental health issues because they were so abused as children. You know, like what, what all for a buck, you know, what, like what, some, sure. Did some survive? Uh, yeah. Some survived, you know, some have done. Okay. There's children actors, but the majority have not. Yeah. Right. They, they grow up, they get ugly or whatever the case is. They don't fit. <laughs> they get new actors, wh- whatever. But they, it, 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 to them, it's just a numbers game. They don't matter, right. you know, and if we could abuse them while they're here, let's do it. Yeah. You know, they're not going to believe them. We're Hollywood. We'll destroy that family. We'll bankrupt them. You know, people are scared of these people, man. I, I'm telling you, God does things for a reason. God wouldn't put any of my kids in there because I would have killed somebody. Yeah. You know? But it, it, it's unfortunate, though, that this is still happening in such a society like ours, so so advanced, that this is, abuse is still happening in children, and it goes unchecked. Yeah. You know, you'll have these little docuseries once in a while that pop out, but what do they do? What do they do? Dan, Dan Schneider's not in jail. No. You know? What What good does it do? Like, that, we should have, as as... Adults, we should have seen like why is there so many feet pics on these shows? Why are these little girls always sucking on toes or touching their? I'm like, this good dude's got a foot fetish. Yeah, like he's a weirdo. Like a chairman of Nickelodeon. Yeah, should have been like, wait, wait, dude, bro, hey, bro, 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 bro. Hey, yeah, let's bring that down a little bit. What's right. going on with all those feet? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's weird. That's kind of weird, you know. And, yeah. and like, I don't know. And like, like poor, like that poor girl, Amanda Bynes. I don't know if you've seen her now. But she's like blonde. She's gotten a little, little thicker. She's got a a a, a nose yeah, the piercing. Bowling. She yeah. has a tattoo heart, her face, and now she's doing like like she's trying to do like uh, do nails. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, pedicures. Uh, yeah, pedicures. No, yeah. that's feet. Uh, manicures. Manicures. So manicurist. There you yeah, go. Yeah, she was doing that. You know, she's like keeping people posted. Like, hey, she did a podcast. She did one episode, and then. And you could see, like, I watched it because I'm like, oh, what's going on with this? And there was uh, two other people, and they were talking, 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 and she was just sitting there listening. Like, they took it over, and she's just sitting there, and she's like, okay, and, and you know, and I'm like, and then it was done. No more, and that wow. was one episode. Like, you could tell that, like, she's trying to find ways out of inside her head. Yeah. And, and, and 
people just continue to take advantage of, of, of that mental illness that she's clearly she's damaged goods. I yeah. hate to say it that way, but she was abused. Yeah. You know, she in to think that maybe she was pregnant, that when her when all that stuff she was tweeting or whatever it was, that if she was really pregnant at sixteen and she got a, an abortion, like you start to think, first off, where did that happen that wasn't reported to police that a sixteen year old, fourteen and fifteen year old girl was pregnant? Yeah. Second of all, who okayed that abortion? The parents are aware? They okayed that? Didn't they ask questions? Um like Where's the adults? How did this happen? Right. You know, I don't know, Jay, man. This, this is what I think, man. This is, I'm, mm-mm. This is the, 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 the stuff that really irritates me. Yeah. Is the fact that there's a <clears throat> lot of people involved in this, and they just turn a blind eye. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, not to get too much, much off a uh, subject, but um, you remember being involved with the casino industry years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And what was something that you saw with just that industry in general, there was a little bit of a seediness, right? People, mm-hmm. people would do terrible things. I mean, they'd live the, remember, I think I uh, came to, you and I had went to the one casino and you and I had walked out there and there was a kid in the car, yeah. like sl- sleeping in a car seat. Parents are inside gambling. So <clears throat> the reason I bring this up is because there's things in life like, like there's so many people, I guarantee you I'll get heat for saying this, but um, like the the whole weed thing, pot and all that, you know, people are really happy that that's Legal. getting legalized everywhere. And, and for the occasional user and stuff like that, it's not the big deal. Again, all of these things, there's a side of it that you're like, eh, you know, you want to go drop a couple bucks in a, a casino game or at a table or whatever. No big deal. The problem is, is that these things create this... Um, there's this dark underbelly of all of it. So gambling, drugs, I mean, the, the, uh, you know, drug industry, everything has its limits. It's got, yeah. And, and the thing is, is that it, it becomes limitless when you have people of power and tons of money, they can get away with everything. You were asking, you know, what, what happened with this Amanda Vines? Yeah. And, and if, if she had gotten pregnant and all that kind of stuff, well, those folks are all pushing for all that kind of stuff, right? So they're going to hide everything. They've no got questions people. asked. I mean, no like questions. They're doing they got that. people like, on. Imagine, you know. Well, you know, they're trying to pass laws for like for the abortion. Like you don't have to tell your parent. What? Right. Yeah. Like we're parents. You're losing your rights. Yeah. Whether you like the, you like um, the conservative side or you don't. Whether you like Republicans or not. I mean, we could all agree, at least on the le- on the right side, that. There has to be control. You can't mm-hmm. give people too much freedom. You give people too much freedom, it's chaos, right? Anarchy, right? You have to have limited freedom. You can't have 100% freedom because it would be chaos. So there's not ever 100% freedom, right? Well, there's laws that you have to follow. There's yeah. rules that you have to society. So, so we, and we, I think by them putting these laws out there, it's like trying to remove parents' rights. Like I've seen this thing. It's like, what? There's no such thing as parents' rights. And I'm like, what do you? What do you? Come down here. I just want to slap yeah. you. You know, like <laughs> we. First off, if I, 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 I didn't do a lot, but I, uh, you know, fertilize that egg. You know, <laughs> you're carrying. Watch your words. You're, watch your next God, words. <laughs> you carry. You carry that child for nine months. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, well, now you know nine, what nine months for nine minutes of work. Yeah. <laughs> nine minutes. I wish it was that long. <laughs> but let me see. Now you know what it feels like to carry a beer belly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But you know, you the the parents they go through all that. They 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 ensure their safety. They protect their kids. They provide clothing, a shelter, food. We don't have parental rights. Yeah, get the flock out of here. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, man? These people. That's today's feminism. That's today's craziness. You know, yeah. like where do you get this from? Like, what movie did you watch that you right. got empowered that there's no such thing as parental rights? Like, that's today's teachers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, that's there's the thing is that you know schools have turned into indoctrination centers. They're no longer they're no longer education uh, places. I mean, uh, uh, it's their education, yeah. what they want to teach. Yeah, right. Well, it kind of goes back to we had talked in our last episode about um, 
what was it the um, the Rockefellers and how mm. you know the schools were really based or the education system was they were making around, workers yeah they were trying to make you know future workers and uh, future wage slave people basically. That's what I, you know do. what you know what schools are doing, ladies and gentlemen. And I and I and in in fear of sounding like Jay, a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> I'm going to say it because I've seen get my tinfoil hat out. I, I, I I've I've seen some data and I've seen some documentaries where schools are actually making your children dumber. Yeah, you know, and and well, they're not they're not spending time teaching on the subjects that they need to. I mean, I've I've been a broken record on this. There's things that have been taken out of the schools, right? What had they replaced it with? Not more math, not more reading, not more you L- know. LGBTQ. That's right. So stuff, um, just crazy stuff that that we don't need in this world. Well, like but, I like back then, we were that was our responsibility to talk to our kids about the birds and the bees, not the school's responsibility because we we decide when right. that was appropriate to talk about. Yeah, because I remember them having sex education class. That's different and, and it's different, you know. That was different though than what they're doing today. Yeah, absolutely, that was, they, they talked about you know the penis and the vagina, well, and they, that one goes into the other, and then a baby comes out. They, they were, honest, it was more about um, so, like anatomy. It, it was anatomy and science, but yeah. it, it also also I don't know if you remember, it kind of scared us because we're like, uh, man, I don't want to get some girl pregnant, you know, or I'm sure the girls sitting there, I don't want to, I don't want to get pregnant. So, and not to say that it didn't happen in school, right? That's what my ex said. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, um, but yeah, so basic anatomy stuff was taught in a different, Mm -hmm. different way where now, I mean, it is, it's perversion now. And again, it's fed down your throat, man. It's just shoved down there. And and it's, it's, eat this. Here's an L. Here's a (laughs) Be. Well, we're we're softening everything up and making it so again, we're, normalizing we're normalizing what's it. not normal, right? So going back to the little analogy of like the casino and stuff like that, you know, gambling um, is never really a good thing if people become addicted to it, right? No, but it can be a fun, just let loose thing every once in a while. Then you have things like drugs, right? For somebody that wants to smoke pot every third weekend or something. I don't really care. I'm not into that. I don't believe in it, but is that really what we're talking about? No, we're talking, you know, people have horrible, horrible addiction issues to drugs, to alcohol, all these things that we soften it up in the beginning and say, Oh, you know, have a drink, ha- have, have a toke of a, uh, uh, some weed, you know, ha- um, you sound like me with the, Hey, have a drink. Relax. Have a drink. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's okay. Take You'll your be clothes okay. off. You're fine. <laughs> uh, you I've been in Hollywood too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to give me anything. It's okay. We'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> but that's my jay. Yeah, but um, it is one of those things that now in the schools they are softening up the children and saying, "Hey." It's not a big deal if somebody touches you. Hey, it's not a big deal if you're naked de- in front of it me. It depends how they did it, and you know what's so funny is that they're they're prepping these children nowadays to become what the left is now. Um, but they're just prepping these children to really be against their parents. Oh, is yeah. what they're doing. And we we were all rebels against our parents at one point, a uh, little bit, right? Behind their backs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Not... we were trying to be rebels in front of them, we'd pick up our teeth across the room. So I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Brother, I don't I remember going to my grandparents' house and you know, when we were in school, we dropped all kinds of curse words and stuff. Yeah. I never, nope. never ever once said any the the strongest thing I ever said was probably dang it or darn it, you know, something like that. I can't say that. And and the thing is, is because it, it was there was that fear, but respect. Yeah. Right. And I never wanted I think it was more respect. In it. Yeah, I never wanted to disappoint them at all, ever. And the thing is, is they raised my mom a certain way. My mom raised me a certain way, and there was a lot of respect in there for you know my my parental figures, whether it was my you know, immediate parents or my grandparents or, and that's why they all, I mean, we just, I just said it. They all have the word parent in them because all of them that are, uh, uh, you know, if you look at like the native Americans, right. Mm -hmm. In this land, 
what's one of the biggest thing they they try to try to do they tried to have the elders would uh you know give the stories to their kids and their kids and their kids and really pass down what the great things the great heritage that right. they had you know in their um uh you know in their past and and this is what's being lost is now we're not passing down great traits no. and oh. great you know things that that uh come from our past we're we're trying this new um this new world whatever it is stuff that is just garbage and you know it's easy to see that it's not working our kids are coming out dumber than ever yeah i mean uh you know we always talk about these little clips they have on youtube and instagram and all these different things tiktok and stuff where they'll go out and question these kids and ask them you know uh how many states are in, in, oh, in the country? God, those are that so embarrassing, bro. And I mean, the amount of kids that cannot answer these basic, basic questions is is staggering. I mean, you know, and, and the thing is, I, I've seen a couple of them where they're like in Vegas. And so these kids are, and I keep saying kids, they're in their 20s, right? They are dum-dums. They're on the street, drunk as can be. Uh, you know, if they're girls, they're probably wearing half of nothing, right? Yeah. Um, the guys have got their beer caps on and all that kind of stuff. And they're asking them these questions. So one is they're, they're already living a life that they, you know, is it, it's sending them down the wrong path early. And then the other thing is that they can't answer basic geography or math questions or well, because things they're, like they're, that. Because they're focused on other dumb things and, and they're just... They're this the educational systems of today I think are just dumbing our children down more. And I don't know what if it's in preparation for something or if it's just that that we're so they've given so much freedom to people to do what they want. I remember there was a structure in school and you had to follow that structure. Yeah. And now it's just gone. Right. Yeah. Teachers could go in there and they could they could rainbow flag the whole Willy room. Nilly. They could have the their their safe spots. They could <laughs> you know, or they could say they could have, mm. hey, this is a white spaces. So now, you know, we, we we bitched and complained about segregation back in the 60s and 70s. And now we're seeing it back again, but it's now against white people, right? White's only conference room and, you know, all other races over here. You know, it's just, it's stupid. But going back to Hollywood well, the, real quick the, and child the, abuse, huh? The racist white people are getting their dream because yeah. they're getting their, their white only spaces back again. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> but anyway. They're all liberals. <laughs> going back to Hollywood. Um. So we've seen this happen, and it's been happening, and it's never. And this is the thing that irritates me that we know it because Ju- Judy Garland, right? Oh yeah, from Oz, right? Or uh, yeah, yeah. She Wizard she of Oz. she also complained about mm-hmm. about abuse. Huh, whatever happened to that? Yeah. Nothing, right? Um, what was that? That, that? She talked about her and her mom going into um the uh, talk to executives and. There was someone else. Who was that? That that I th- Simone Simone something. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, she's a black actress. Mm-hmm. She, her, she talked about it. I don't know if you remember a long time ago in the '60s. I think it was the '60s when they came out uh, a movie called Romeo and Juliet. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, those actors. That was the first time they used actors that similar to play. Right. The 15 year old, 16 year old. Yep. Um. They th- those kids. They had nude scenes together. Mm-hmm. Nude scenes at 15, 16 years old, right? 60 years later, they sued Paramount because of that. Because those pictures, those stills now were in porn sites, you know, wow. of minors, right? Hollywood was getting away with this sh- shit. Yeah. And they're still doing it. I mean, they're not doing that now because I'm sure that's like very obvious to the modern society. If they see a naked 15, 16 year old. But they're doing it behind closed doors now. Oh yeah, you know, and but they've and, they've been softening everybody up for a long and time. The people are doing it in the classroom. They're doing it everywhere. They're they're normalizing things. You know, you got these people that talk in these LGBT roundups talking about you know um, what do they? They don't call them pedophiles. They call them uh, young or lovers of. Oh yeah, I don't know what they're called. Um, yeah, it's it's a euphemism, man. They're it's pedophiles. A, they're a criminal is a criminal. You, you know, you can't. You know, you could you could put lipstick on a turd; it's still a turd. Yeah. So, um, the the whole thing about that is the fact that um, 
they're they're trying to normalize it, but there's nothing being done. And I, I again, I'll repeat myself. There has to be strict laws when it comes to children. I don't care if they're children in the workplace uh, because it's a workplace in Hollywood. I don't care if it's children at home, children in schools. We need to set boundaries. We need to set yeah, boundaries absolutely. and laws down. We're getting out of control. Where we're, we have teachers, teachers telling our students, oh, you can tell me your your um, uh, your pronouns. We won't tell your we won't tell your parents. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. If I fight, if I, my biggest fight in schools was like fair treatment to my kids. If I ever went down there and talked to a principal because I, my kid is complaining that they're not treating them right, right? And I'd go down there in a heartbeat. It was funny because I always had security who we were standing by because it doesn't beat somebody up. But <laughs> uh, if a teacher tells that to my child, oh, are you, are, you, are you the teacher that told my kid not to tell me what's going on in their life? I'm sorry, but that's not how my household works. Next time you do that, you're gonna be picking your teeth up over the across the room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't tell my children not more, to lie to me. Don't you're don't tell someone else's kids what to do. Right. That is like the biggest pet peeve of mine. Right. Don't tell my kids something that I've already told. They're my kids. Mm-hmm. I will raise them how I see fit. Right. I'm not gonna right. go to your, your, their kids and tell them anything. Don't come to my kids and tell me yeah. anything. Like you know, if your kids are acting up and being jerks in school, that's a whole different. You know, well, I'm, whole whole different I'm gonna whoop their ass. Yeah. Right? When, yeah, they're gonna get. Beat at school and beat one. <laughs> That's called a double beating. The double, double beating. whammy. Yeah. But but like that, laws need to be put in place that protect our children. Where, where the where the government, Mr. Joe Stalin, uh, the government is writing laws that protect the children. Yeah. Not from their parents, but from outside influences, right? They need to empower the parents back up. Right, right, and and provide that protection that we've had for years. Well, the, You're not going to tell me a government body or a, a city body is not going to tell me that there's no such thing as parental rights. But no. I'm, well, the fact that parents are going to these school board meetings and getting arrested and ushered out, you know, that's Joe, that's that's uh, that's your Obama era, it? your Joe Stalin era. What what is a school board for? It's for the school. What is the school for? For the children. Okay. So. I believe the word before that is called public school. Yeah. yeah. It's a, and, Our and taxes it pay for it. That's right. So, I mean, the, the parents have everything to everything to say about it but yeah i'm not going to i'm not going to sit here and say that like cuz i hate when people say to law enforcement officers, "You work for me." I hate that. So, I'm not going to sit here and say they work for me, but they are funded by the city government, right? Or, and and the city government is funded by the um, population, the the, right. the the people that live in that area, yeah. right? So I, I would say, and, and on top of that, that's just the bottom end. But on the top of that, those are my children, and I decide what I'm going to tell them and what you're going to tell them. Yeah. A long time ago, I remember they used to say, "Hey, the kids are here when they're with us. You know, we're going to teach them what we need to teach them. When they're at home, you have to help us." Right. To, and, and you kind have of, to be that other half. You have to be that, that other yeah. half. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, hey, don't tell your parents this. And yeah. like, you, you don't, you know, I taught my kids a long time ago, never keep secrets. Right. If an adult tells you to keep a secret, that's a bad thing. So don't keep secrets. Yeah. You know, always tell them the truth. And then be, you'll be safe. You don't yeah. tell, you lie to me, that booty's going to be red. <laughs> right? So it, it, I just think that we need to now uh, empower parents. We're, we're now at a point where we're done with the joking around. We're done with entertaining those blue-haired hippies. You know, those times are done. You guys could sit in the street, scream and yell, bah, do what you do, like a, like a little billy goat. Um, but that's fine. That's your right. People died so you could have that right to be ridiculous. But my kids are my kids. They're my right. And I'm going to do with them what I feel is necessary yeah. to keep them safe. So they don't turn out like you. Exactly. Wait, <laughs> me or like the blue haired Like the blue zombies. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I, these are just my thoughts. Um, I just think that we need to have laws put in place to protect these kids because these are our future. These are our kids 100%. that are, that, that are going to be watching us, right? And if all, we're not doing anything to protect them, they're not going to do anything to protect us. All right. So we, we need to do better, man. Yeah, we do. Well, well, everybody, thanks so much for joining us once again with one of our uh, interesting topics. Yeah, you better Please. be here next week. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Please let us know um, what you liked or didn't like about this episode. Leave comments down below because uh, we love to hear from you guys. And uh, we like to laugh while we're in the bathroom. 
<laughs> We're like, look at this guy. He got really offended. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, um, uh, and visit all of our social media channels at Linktree forward slash Joe and Jay Outspoken. Everybody, be good to one another. And remember, do better, be better. And as always, God, God bless America. America. We'll see you later. See ya.